and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys have no clue of what they're drinking. They're going to give you flavor notes on the bourbon in their glass, and then they're gonna tell you a price point that they're willing to pay to get that bourbon in their shelf, bar, or anywhere else without the hype of the label. Tonight we have Owen and Brando from the Helio Network. I'm sure they're gonna tell you more about that. And our bottle is Elijah, Clay, Elijah Craig a Barrel Proof. Um, I absolutely love this bottle. I'm super stoked. This one's coming in at 132.8. It is batch C920. With that, I'm gonna go get the guys. I'm gonna pour myself some of this. I don't have a glass. I do have a glass. Oh, I get to drink too. If you like what you see tonight, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, looking for a Facebook group that talks bourbon 24 seven, head on over to Bourbon Blind Nation. Also, Patreon is always awesome and always a thing. Uh, you can head on over there, see what we have. We have uh, lists from the show, shirts, bottles, all sorts of fun stuff. And, oh, and barrel picks. Uh, we have a 1792 barrel pick coming in. We have a Four Roses barrel pick coming in. Um, I'm forgetting one. <gasps> Buffalo Trace. You know, because that's a thing. Uh, besides that, I'm gonna go get the guys. We'll find out what they think of the Elijah Craig. Did I short anyone? I did, I shorted Kyle. We'll fix that, yep. And uh, we'll, think, we'll find out what they think of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C920. Uh, that's my favorite blade design. Can you say sheep's foot again for me? Well, I just, it's, it's the specific, uh, you know, shape that I was looking yeah. for, so. I'm basic bitch. I saw your, oh, I saw it down there. That's what yeah, made me think yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a cheap ass knife. What's your basic bitch knife then? Are we, are we literally is... doing this right now? Oh, you're that's kidding me. <gasps> Dude, you're killing me with this. I've never even held one. This is like legendary. Really? Sorry, are we yeah. gonna are we gonna I gotta taste really and deal smell knives and try to get? He's a got price a bench point? made, my dude. That's cool. <laughs> so you gotta close your eyes. It's we're gonna open it. And you gotta tell me what shape it's the blade is. This is definitely not sheep's oh. foot. <laughs> That's not sheep's foot. It's not sheep's foot, guys. It's really wet. Like it's, it's getting really warm. Right. Right. Oh, guys. Mm. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Owen. I'm Brando. We got some new guys here with us uh, from the Helios Network. Yes. Uh, yeah. We're going to tell you a little bit about that in just a second. And uh, why don't you guys just do a real quick introduction to uh, yourself and your whiskey background. Yeah. Uh, so I'm Owen, like I said. Uh, I've been working in the service industry since I was like 16. Um, I am a huge spirits nerd. I don't necessarily uh, care for one spirit more than the other. If it uh, has alcohol in it and it's tasty, I will put it in my mouth. That sounds delicious to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's me. I'm Brando. I'm totally new to the whole whiskey liquor scene. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. I walked in here and they put me on camera, so I don't know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm yeah. gonna have fun. So Yeah, we're the uh, founders of the Helios Network, yes. which is a podcast production and consulting company here in uh, Tennessee, in Nashville, not right. where we are, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you guys want to get in here and yeah. see Yeah. All right, we're doing it. See what we think? That is. So you guys yeah. actually get uh, two different perspectives today. Well, mine and Owen's, and mm -hmm. also uh, Brando's, which is more of a new, like a, uh, like you said, new to whiskey kind of thing. Owen's been a bad influence on him. But. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. We've known each other for about two years now, and before he knew me, he didn't drink. Yeah. <laughs> Now look at him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really bad. Yeah. Wow. I never thought. Yeah, I gotta go, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. I get like brown sugar, chocolate, leather. Yeah, this is a very sweet whiskey on the smell for sure. I get toffee backed with like a little hay. There's a little like earthiness on there for sure. Right. I definitely get that toffee. Yeah. I'm smelling a lot of vapors. Mm. <laughs> a lot very, of ethanol. Very volatile. Ethanol, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So, and one of the ways that you can kind of, if you're the new whiskey guy, right, and you're watching this, um, and this is going to sound absolutely terrible, but Owen, oh, you probably know what I'm talking about. Your best way to develop that, like, nosing and tasting abilities is to drink more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and being able to, like, try things back to back. And that's when, like, differences really kind of start picking out. Yeah. So that's... I mean, when... Like I, I said, I know it sounds terrible, but... 
It sounds like a good time to me. Like when I started drinking, one of the things I was doing was always trying to make sure I had a notebook in front of me. So when like I would have, you know, uh, you know, three or four different gins or some rums or bourbons or whatever it was, I would sit there and be like, okay, this bourbon has this flavors to it and this yeah. smells to it. And the note taking process really helped me not just l figure out what the flavors are, but learn what I am, like smelling right. what I'm tasting. See, for me, it was totally social. Like I I'm like just learning the language from my buddies and like learning the vocabulary of how to articulate what I'm smelling and tasting. So it, I'm just kind of like picking up what they're saying. I'm like, yeah, actually I experienced that too. And that's, yeah. that's one of the things too. The real key about it is you just have to be honest with yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if I said bread pudding, and you could be like, no, I don't get bread yeah. pudding in there. And that's <laughs> totally okay. Like, there is no wrong answer. Like, if he had said cherries, yeah. like, there's an orange, and I said, I don't get any yeah. cherries. Like, he's not wrong. That's what he is smelling. That's how his brain is associating the chemical compounds in the whiskey 100%. with... 100%. With that, so and that's one of the things I've always not enjoyed when you get, especially when you get into like really big whiskey nerds, is like people. It's like no, it smells like this, it tastes like this. You have to drink it like this. You put three <laughs> distillates, uh, like all this stuff. I'm right. like, man, it's the whole entire point of drinking is like Brando said, the social aspect yeah. aspect of it too. Uh, you know, you, not everybody's like George Thorgood and likes to drink alone, right? Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's like one of the things. It's like get together with all your close buds and family members uh, and just sit down and drink and everyone's palate is different everyone's nose is different and just enjoy the experience with one another amen yeah and there is no like that whole like bashing like this is what you're wrong like oh, bourbon blind nation facebook there is none of yeah. that so you know, plug are we allowed cheers to drink plug. it yet are we yes <laughs> i didn't, right, I didn't yeah, want to uh, rush cheers, it. yeah okay, okay. cheers cheers All guys right. mm, that's a lot of flavor that is that is a lot of heat to it as well. I was just about to say that. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I feel that on the outside of my lips. Isn't it? <laughs> this is super thick, too. Like, I yeah. have almost no legs on the inside of my glass. I was about to say, like, there is absolutely nice, nothing. Like, I get a little color. couple drips here and there, but... Wait, legs? What is legs? So, uh, the rim, like, if you swirl your glass right, it makes, like, a little rim at the top. Uh-huh. Um, you'll notice little legs running okay. down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are the like generally the thicker they are, either the more well made it is or uh, well aged or it's just it is not a definitive by any means uh, like sign of quality, but it yeah. can be a sign of quality. It's nice. Primarily like a wine thing, it's you say like wine and legs, but it's yeah, it cool. works for spirits as well. It's cool. All right, I'm going back in because yeah. that was that was a lot to take in. Yeah, my uh, hmm. I'm feeling it in my chest. Mm-hmm. It just lingers right there. That's called the Kentucky hug. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I've actually never heard that. I like really? that. <laughs> Kentucky, yeah. That's Kentucky hug. Or Tennessee hug if you're from around mm. here. Mm. I'm getting a lot of pepper on this one. Pepper? A lot gonna, of pepper. I was going to say also like a tobacco, leather, mm. like those really dark, dark, almost earthy notes. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm not I'm not feeling any, any kind of sweetness or anything like that at all. Like... Yeah, I was gonna say it's very savory. Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah. not sweet. It's not. I'm getting like no fruit tannins, no fruit leather, no dark fruits at all. Like which is yeah, traditionally yeah. what you get with bourbons. Is no some fruit type by of the foot. yeah, no fruit. By <laughs> 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 oh man, that brings me back to my childhood. <laughs> mm. Or gushers? Do you guys remember gushers? Yeah. Sorry, this is oh, a bourbon. Those are so thing. good. Those are so good. <laughs> you guys want to review gushers? gushers. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Whoa, oh, there's heat there when yeah. I laugh. Wow, yeah. I'm breathing fire. Wow, yeah, man. and you're almost done with it too. I'm, uh, I'm gonna say it. this is north of 130 proof, definitely north of 120, 130, 125, 135, somewhere in that. Uh, I'm actually, I don't think it's actually above 130. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna say I think it's actually in the 20s, the 120s. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that could just be from uh, that Canadian whiskey we were just <laughs> drinking too. My my about, mouth could be a about little. About an hour ago, <laughs> yeah. we were enjoying some 158 proof. Yeah. 27 year Canadian whiskey. Oh man. <laughs> Hit me hard. It'll put a hair on your chest. Oh, 100%. Anyway. But I I got to say I'm digging that. Like it's not quite as sweet and fruity as I would like, but I am digging that. I don't know if my palate is just not as sophisticated, but I'm not a huge fan. There's a lot of heat there. It's a full there's a fullness to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's it's definitely interesting. Um, I wouldn't say it's bad. I think me personally, it's not my favorite though. But there is a lot of punch to it. Oh yeah, yeah. there's yeah. there's a lot of punch, and that's kind of one of those like again you ha you have to drink more kind of things. Like getting into that hundred and thirty proof, hundred and whatever proof, like 
most people have to build up some sort of acclimation yeah. to yeah. to that. And I've noticed like some people think that that is like the pinnacle of their whiskey journey. Yeah. Like I hit that and then I kind of backed off. And I really like that like 100 to 115 proof. Mm. Like that is, that's my jam. I am not a proofist. Right. Is that a, the, the term? I don't know. Right? Proofist? <laughs> Comment below if you think I'm right. There's a lot of proofism uh, going around yeah. right now. All right. Uh, so it, to me, it's like, yes. I don't mind high proof. I don't mind low proof. You know, if you want to get into even like the light whiskeys, there's the super high stuff and the right. super low stuff. All of it's like actually super tasty to me. Mm. Uh, this said though, I really enjoy this. Uh, mm. It kind of coats my mouth like peanut butter does. It doesn't right. taste like peanut butter, but like how yeah, oily, oily it is. Like, yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, which that. is nice. So it's like I'm tasting it all over my mouth, and I just chipped my tooth a couple weeks ago, and I oh. haven't gotten fixed. So that's been a fun experience. <laughs> right in my, my tooth. tooth. Yeah. Gosh. So, that's... what would you be willing to pay for whatever's in this black bag, the bag of mystery? Oh, the, oh, this is yeah. It right that's here? that's yeah, the bottle that, right that's, there. That's the bottle. All right. <sighs> The most you'd pay without feeling bad about it. You you go first. I was gonna you know as a newbie. I was, I was gonna base my <laughs> number off, off yours. Your okay. <laughs> uh, so we were talking about this before, right. but so I have my, my dollar limit on a bottle of whiskey is always sixty bucks. Like if it's a, gonna be above sixty, right. it has to like blow my mind. Mm -hmm. It's like that's where it is. With how high proof this is. And I think it's going to be a single barrel. I think we're drinking a single yeah. barrel. I think f we are. I could be wrong. Eh, who knows? Uh, I've been wrong once before. Yeah. Actually, I thought I was wrong, but I wasn't. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would honestly, because I actually very much am enjoying this and the mouthfeel of it. Mm. The flavor is good, but it's the mouthfeel that I'm enjoying yeah. the most mm. out of it. It's just um, super thick. Creamy. Oof, right here. I'm going to say $75. Okay. Yeah. I was actually going to say right in that $70 to $80 yeah. price range. I was thinking more $55. Oh, okay. wow. All right. Yeah, All just right. because I wasn't a big fan of it. Yeah. But yeah, it, is, it is interesting. Mm -hmm. I would definitely offer it to someone and say, hey, try this yeah. as an experience. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. And I've noticed, yeah. like, as I've progressed through my whiskey journey, like, I'm willing to pay more for to get certain flavors and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah, when the, yeah. When there's a bottle that just hits all the right spots, you're like, I don't care. Just <laughs> shut yeah. up and take my Here's money. the like, card. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, people have asked me that question, and 100% will always say, Angels Envy Rye, yeah. always worth the price tag for me. Uh, people are always like, what is it? I'm like, that's my straight go-to. So nice. That's my roasted marshmallows bottle. Oh, yeah, it's great. Mm. Oh, nice. roasted marshmallows, so, yes. Speaking of bottles, uh, go ahead and open that. Let's <laughs> oh, see man. Uh, oh, you're the guest on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Oh, I'm going to let you, Brando's the newbie, I go ahead will. and go for it. Oh! Oh, oh I should drink barrel proof. Barrel proof. There we go. I had an inkling that that might be what that is. 132. 132.8. Wow, there we go. All right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's, Dang. Uh, what batch is that, by the way? Uh, 132 on the right. C920. So that is uh, the third, C is the third batch of the year, mm -hmm. nine is the September, that's mm -hmm. the month, and then 20 is 2020. Mm. So that was the third batch, which was produced in September of 2020. And they're always either uh, one, five, or nine yeah. for the months. And it's uh, so. 12 year old, too. It is 12 years yeah. old. They're all barrel proof. It's a batch proof, technically, mm. but I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. So I was wrong. It's not a single barrel. It's not. Nah. Oh. It is a small batch, though. It is a small batch. It is a small batch, though. Very well, good. I don't even can, know what that can means. We, yeah, what can we debate that? Because yeah. I've never enjoyed the fact that the, small, the batch, term small batch. Because it really means nothing. There is no legal precedent at that. all <laughs> for what small batch means. Generally, and just in the industry, from what I've been able to ascertain for everything, is it's just a smaller batch than what they normally make. Yeah. So if you're Heaven Hill, a normal batch could be a thousand barrels. <laughs> If you are uh, Wilderness Trail, a normal batch could be 20 barrels. barrels yeah. Ah, so, ah, wow, like okay. a small batch for Heaven Hill is not a small batch for... And that is... Like, it's kind of yeah. arbitrary is what it sounds It really like. is. Yeah. Yeah. It really yeah. is. It's like yeah. a handshake agreement, you know, where it's yeah. like, yeah, it's just something smaller that we produce. Mm. But, like, I see the term small batch on whiskeys all the time that it's like their permanent lineup always has small batch right. on it. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of reminds me of uh, when I was in culinary school and everything, we were taught that, uh, like... When you go to the grocery store, it says all natural. There is no legal yeah. definition for yeah, all natural. Yeah. Whatever that there means. Is, yeah. Yeah. Like organic has legal definitions behind it. 
<laughs> all natural it means absolutely yeah, nothing. We found yeah. it in the river. <laughs> river yeah. Right. It's all natural. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, man. So, yeah, anyway, um, Elijah Craig, like I said, out of Heaven Hill. Mm -hmm. It is barrel proof. It is um, at least 12 years old. And I think you guys would agree, they, that is one bottle. And uh, I, I say this about the whole line, like, it is a flavor bomb. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I don't sure, know sure. of many more whiskeys available at any price point that you get more flavor yeah. Cool. Than yeah. what's in there. Like, so what was the price? What is the price point on this? Uh, retail on that is about sixty to seventy bucks. Oh wow! All wow. right. Wow. Dang. Wow. So yeah. Uh, some places I'm I've seen this low as like in the fifties. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You were you were very close, and we yeah. were willing to pay a little more. I'm almost right. <laughs> <laughs> I am so surprised right now. What's happening? <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Um, you guys, welcome. Thank or welcome. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. And welcome. Yeah. Uh, from the Helios Appreciate Network. It. Yeah. And. Um, you have some podcasts too, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, so the first podcast that we have is uh, our pet project, which we very much enjoy. It's called Hammered in Helios. Mm. It is a spirited Dungeons and Dragons campaign that we do. So yes, we are huge nerds. And if you have noticed, I do have the D&D dice tattooed on my <laughs> forearm right here. Uh, I'm the dungeon master for that. And it is a uh, very fun. And that's how kind of we met is uh, it's a spirited campaign. What we do by that is the first 10 minutes, someone always brings a bottle and we sit down and review it. So we've done a lot of bourbon, we've done chartreuse, we've done rums, tequilas, mezcals. Uh, someone brought in a sake and that was a fun one too. Awesome. So it's a, it's a whole lot of fun. And yeah. then uh, our other one that we have. Uh, you can, yeah, check out also Banter and Such. It's really where Owen and I talk about anything and everything that we're interested in. We invite a lot of our friends in. So it's just a big friend conversation where we're having a blast last talking about nerd culture movies games all kinds of stuff yeah. it's just just a fun time so so be sure to put hashtag podcasts in the comment to be entered into the uh, end of year giveaway Ooh. and uh everyone else thank you so much patreon members absolutely love you guys you all are 100 percent amazing yeah. um total family for us uh bourbon blind nation on facebook bourbon blind on tiktok instagram facebook YouTube, all those <laughs> like, subscribe, do things <laughs> on the hit internet. The, hit the buttons yeah. on your screen. www.google.com. <laughs> you forgot about HTTP. No! Yeah. Where am yeah. I? Yeah. Forward slash or a backslash? Which one? Uh, I don't know what to do. I've downloaded a virus Seriously. again. <laughs> that was the porn. <laughs> well, the internet also, is for check porn. Check us out Friday night. Come hang out. Woo. Yeah. Drink. Woo. Check us out Friday night lives. Uh, Normal episodes go live Friday noon central and uh, try to put out episodes on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So be sure to check all that out and I am out of breath. So cheers, guys. Yeah. I totally did an intro that that's what got me to drink bourbon. Oh. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T-shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit-chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next.